Good morning. How are y'all doing? I haven't done a Facebook Live in a long time. So, a good friend of mine was like, you gotta do those Facebook videos again. <laughs> so, the last couple of weeks have been good, have been hard, have been uh, a very big push for me. My wonderful man is moving in with me, and we're trying to fit all of his stuff into my house. <laughs> and it is, um, it's a lot. There's a lot to s more or move and organize, and for those who know me, I like clean. Um, I like organized. I like things put together. And it has not been that way. So I'm learning to let go of my life has to be this. And then with my mom being gone, it makes me cry. I miss her, but I'm thrilled that she's in heaven and she's no longer here suffering. And just going through so many different things of emotion, um, trying to, trying to continue working and then still taking care of myself and then taking care of the house and taking care of my son and my man's son, who is an adorable, beautiful, beautiful soul of a child and creating a family. It's a lot of work. It, it requires, it's requiring a lot of, um, shifting on my side and a lot of what do I really want? What is important to me? Because there have been so many times where I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this. Oh my God. But I can do it because the rewards are so great. Having someone beside me, someone who loves me for me, someone who the more he finds out about me, the more he, the more awesome he thinks I am. But then he's also a wonderful mirror saying, babe, you've got to chill on this. We got to quit pushing ourselves so hard. You, we got to stop. And having someone show you, you, it's, uh, it's hard because it's, they always say that relationships are a mirror, reflecting ourselves back at ourselves. I'm not even saying that right, but it's just like, okay, I love him. He's a wonderful guy. And we went and met his mother last week. She's 84 and sharp as a tack. And uh, she showed me, she does these eggs, um, paints eggs with wax and this whole thing. And it's just impressive. She's had so much time being retired and not having much to do. And so she's put it in towards arts and crafts and towards games. And she does crossword puzzles and does all sorts of games and has a pool table in her living room and plays pool. And it's like, okay, this is how you stay healthy and happy and live long term. Is you and then they've they've done certain things to have people around through this whole mess. So it was really good to see that. Um, and then I went for a walk um, last week with a lady I met here on Facebook, 74 year old, amazing lady. Her name is Mary Tandy, and she's just so sweet and amazing, and has a little dog. And we went to the park, and her way of interacting with people, it's just, it was beautiful. I'm gonna make sure I hang out with her often. And here I am wandering around because there's not really that much to say, but then there's so much to say. <laughs> Life is work all of the blasted time. So what do I do? I just keep going at it. Starting tomorrow, I am going to do a 30-day vegetarian diet, really low caffeine, low sugar, um, try to do just as simple and as healthy as possible. Oh, and in just do a detox for 30 days. I'm going to do an enema um, five days a week. Sorry, got all these alarms and alerts coming through on my phone. So yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow's good. It's time. I've been knowing I had to do a detox for a long time, but I also knew I had to be in the right space. I had to have the right support. <laughs> I'm going to get crabby. <laughs> And I feel right now is the right time. So for the month of October, very, very low sugar, very low caffeine, vegetarian, um, lots and lots of vegetables. I'm going to try to add in lots of smoothies and some fresh juices that I make myself. 
um, hoping the farmer's market starts really having more fruits and vegetables available. I know that things are finally starting to grow, so fingers crossed. Gonna just do gentle walking and swimming and exercises. And I'm gonna give you guys updates, let you know how it goes. I'm not doing it for weight loss. I'm doing it for health. I'm starting to get a headache once a week, which just means my the toxins are building up in my body. And as I posted on Facebook, my knee is it's 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 fucked up, folks. It's not happy. Since my mom died, this left knee of mine is just screaming almost all of the time. So, in order to get changes, you have to do changes. So we're on it. So wish me luck. I'll be posting. Okay. I'm going to post daily updates because I need to. I need to get back on here. I need to talk some more. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Let you guys know what's going on daily, even if it's, I'm a grouch. Ah! <laughs> Life sucks. <laughs> um, I'll work towards it. But I'm not going to do any woman circles or anything for the rest of this year. This rest of year, the rest of the year is just for me and my family and healing and getting myself straight. Um, I'm definitely going to start doing a, a thing that I did with dieting a few, a uh, few years back that really, really, really worked. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I'm going to start that back up. Don't know exactly when. Um, and I don't want to do it like January, like everybody else does, but I might, we'll see. Christmas, it's going to be the first Christmas with a wonderful guy in my life and his son. So I'm really excited. We're going to put up lots of lights and Halloween. We're going to do Halloween and we're just, we're going to, you know what? We're going to enjoy the holidays. That's one thing I loved about life in India. They had so many holidays and they celebrated them. So we've got holidays here. Let's celebrate them. Let's go trick-or-treating. Let's put up lights. Arian wants to decorate for Halloween. So we're going to do some ghosts and some fun stuff. I'm going to go find some stuff that we can do that's affordable and easy and doesn't require a lot of storage. He wants the big, fancy, ugly things. I don't like ugly stuff, so it's not going to my yard. I said, when you can afford to pay for it, then we might have it. <laughs> ah, so that's what's going on. A lot of nothing, a lot of a lot. Have a marvelous day. Take care of yourself. Make sure to spend a little bit of time with you. All right, bye.